I guess we're starting. Hello, good evening everybody. I didn't mean to click that button, but my music's gone. <laughs> Hello, oh, we're off to a good start this evening, aren't we? Hello everybody, I am Panda. This is the face of Panda Creates Tutorials and Panda Creates from Port Macquarie, which is my little side hustle business that I do for all of my customers. I am so excited to be here tonight because this is bringing what is essentially my two, three, three of my worlds together. I have my beautiful friends from over in America um, that I used to go live for over in PPM. Some of you are in this group. Hello, I've missed you. Uh, a lot of you are from my current group where I'm going live, which is Aussie Tumblr Makers and Crafters. You already know this ugly mug. Uh, you've been dealing with me for the past oh gosh, nine months now, but here I am in my own little group for the first time, and a couple of you are my closest and dearest friends that I have let sneak into my group because you like watching what I do, or you are crafters yourselves. So welcome to each and every one of you. Um, I'm going to take a guess that all of my American buddies are probably doing something with their day because it's quite, I think from memory, nine o'clock at night for us is like really early in the morning for them. So I don't expect to see many of them, but if you are here, please say hello. Um, if you happen to miss the live and you are catching the replay, please let me know as well, just so I see how how um, many of, like how much I pop up in people's news feeds once I'm no longer live. Um, I'm just going to go into this on my screen. Uh, on my phone because I can see there's like lines like comments are trying to load but they're not actually loading so I can't see any of you talking to me so I'm going to go into it this way uh, Anna is here hello Anna hello Angela Janine is here Ness you found me I was trying to reply to your post but I think you deleted it as I was commenting on it but I'm glad to see that you found me Kellyanne and Dorothy hello uh, Anna says Luke is here and just asked if I was watching myself Luke mate we are peas in a pod I am planning to visit Mudgy sometime when it warms up because I am not visiting Mudgy when it's as cold as it is now um, but you're gonna be sorry <laughs> having her and I in the same room oh buddy uh, Tenille is here and so is Bridget. Hello, Rebecca and Jules and Belinda. Everybody's here. Hello. Okay, so tonight I thought we would kick off with a debut for those of you that don't have young children or school age children anymore. Today was the last day of term two. For my American friends, um, schools in Australia run in terms rather than in semesters. So we have four terms of uh, 10 weeks. And then um, between term one and term four, we have a two week break between the terms. And then at the end of term four, we break for six weeks over Christmas and the new year. And then school starts, the new school year starts again late January every year. So we are what is essentially the end of semester one, uh, but the end of term two. So I thought I would kick off with a non-resin related craft because a lot of the lives that I have ever done have been uh, they've involved epoxy in some way shape or form so I thought it would be fun to do this little um, set tonight uh, for a couple of reasons one uh, the lovely Christy Beatty and I are currently involved in what is my very first online uh, market or festival um, and I wanted to list a couple of lower pricing point items just to, you know, if, if somebody wanted to buy something, but they didn't necessarily want to spend the money on a cup. I had a few lower, lower cost items for them to um, purchase. Uh, also, because it doesn't use epoxy, these are really good for kids uh, to make as well. So if, especially if you have a daughter, um, these are really good for you guys to sit down on a weekend and make a couple of sets together, put them aside for um, last minute birthday invitations that you find down the bottom of a school bag or something. Um, but generally they're just a lot of fun. Uh, now, almost everything except for my little lobster clasps, which came from Kmart, have come from uh, TechRap Craft Australia tonight. Uh, that is Ness, that if you can actually see comments on your screen, Ness is the... Um, brains behind TechRap Craft Australia. She is who I bought everything that I'm using except for the lobster clasps off tonight and has started my new obsession with the bubblegum beads. 
uh, Tess, if, uh, Ness, if you can, sorry, I was just reading to Neil's comment. Ness, if you can please drop your link for your website. Uh, everything that you see tonight is available on the website. So if you wanted to give this a go for yourself, I highly recommend you put in an order and not to be an enabler, but she has Afterpay. So I got you. Okay, so we're going to get started. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Crystal's here. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Emma. Hi, Anne. Joe's here. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> I have, before I get started, uh, this will be my second live of the week. I am uh, currently halfway into, well, I mean, there's only two parts, so technically I'm halfway through. Um, but Wednesday night, I did the very first Tumblr craft along that has ever been done in Australia. We did that through a Zoom. Uh, I think it went really, really well. Um, but keep an eye out. Uh, we've got another session on Saturday. And then once that session is done, I'm going to weld uh, the two Zoom meetings together and make a little highlights reel so that everybody that didn't attend can see what we got up to and how much fun that we had. Uh, and then I've got tonight, obviously, and then again for tomorrow night. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at talking, but uh, we were actually having a conversation on Wednesday night about how um, I, a, a lot of times, I lack the ability to be able to do a tutorial and keep up with the comments and interact with you all at the same time. So I want to apologize for that in advance. That's just my personality, where Anna is kind of the, and Belinda, and everybody that we watch over in Aussie Tumblr Makers, uh, where they have the ability, the, the coveted ability, to both be able to craft and interact with you guys at the same time. Because I do a lot of explaining, um, because it is tutorial style rather than watch me work, um, I kind of get lost in my procedure and forget to look at comments. So if I do miss your comment or your question, please don't be offended. I always go back through at the end and look at all of the comments and reply to everybody. So if I miss you during the live, uh, if it's a really urgent question, ask again because nine times out of ten I see it the second time that you ask. Um, but otherwise, please don't feel like I'm singling you out or ignoring you. I'm just really bad at teaching and moderating at the same time but I'm going to flick this little button and then this little button nope that little button there we go Ta -da! okay so for these sets you will need these are the pens we're going to go with a green one and a silver one but she's got heaps of different colors uh, if you saw in the little promo pick that I put up, I've used different colours in those as well. But these are what the beaded pe beadable pens look like. So the green one, well, I'm just going to turn my light off. If you can see has, no, please focus. There we go. It has a shine to it. So some of them are glittery and some of them have this really pretty polished look. Okay, uh, I probably should have trimmed my nails because my hands are nasty. But, but please, um, I've just been at uh, my son's cheer gym for the past three hours. So we had to rush home. I had to chuck pajamas on him, get him to bed, and then get to you guys. So I have done nothing with myself. I'm still in my oody. Um, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do it. It's okay. We're not going to stress about it because if we start stressing about it, then I start to panic. And then you see what it's like when I'm in a blind panic. So you will need the beatable pens. Okay, here you can see that we've got our bubblegum beads. So you will need, for the entire set, you will need six beads. So for the green set, we are going to do white and green. For the silver set, we are doing black and blue. Okay, um, and usually I put the... Um, so I'll use this example because we're not actually using silver beads tonight. But because we're using green beads with a green pen, I usually do two of the complementary colours with one of the same colour on this. And then on the bag sets, you get two of the green and one of the white. Okay, so you will need six beads. You will also need these lobster clasps. I got these from Spotlight. But because I felt like I was um, betraying Ness a little bit because I do have some of her keychain hardware in stock but um, I'm a little bit like smog when it comes to pretty things and I covet them she has these in stock okay these gorgeous rainbow aura 
sets so what you would do uh, when you see me tying around this part for the um, bag sets tonight if you were to get these sets you would tie around this little part here and then you would have both a keychain and a lobster clasp to use as well okay so Ness also sells these and if we pretend like we're not using the spotlight ones everything that I am using tonight would then be from Ness okay and last but not least I am using clear string tonight I am hoping that with the light on if I turn it on you will be able to see what I'm doing because of the reflection uh, you don't have to use clear elastic string if you don't want to I just prefer to um, because it's essentially invisible it's like fishing line you will also need which I forgot to pull out where are they these things these things I got from eBay, right? Um, I make little planner bookmarks and stuff as well with beads. Um, but the beads that I use for them, I make myself um, out of resin. But these are called end caps. Okay, so there's the silver one. There's the gold one. I got mine on eBay. I'm not sure if Spotlight sells them, but they're just end. They're called end caps, right? And you can get all different designs. So you will need them for the bag set as well. I think I'm going to go gold for the green and silver with the black and blue. And a pair of scissors. And that's all that you need. I'm just going to go back and refresh the comments again. Thank you, Ness. Um, I can't pin on my phone. Um, but I will copy and paste that at the end so that it's down the bottom as well. Bubblegum beads are addictive, Dorothy. Um, when Ness opened up her pre-order, I had never used a bubblegum bead in my life. They looked like a lot of fun. I thought, I'll bugger it. I'll give it a go. Um, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying having fun with them. Uh, and so is my daughter who has already put in her birthday and her Christmas order, even though Christmas is still six months away and her birthday isn't till next January. So I'm going to get her some just because, I mean, she's as, she's almost as crafty as I am. Uh, she has a whole basket, like, storage unit dedicated to her crafting stuff now. So she's getting a little bit out of control like her mother. This is the crafting Udi. Um, If you can see, it's got pigment paste down the bottom here. Uh, when I was on the phone the other day to Anna, I managed to dip my, if you can see, it's sparkly. That went straight in that purple skull that I put up that was still curing my whole sleeve went in there um, I have a burn mark on it somewhere from my soldering iron so yes I, th I think I'm just going to buy myself one that I can wear out of the house and this can be for my craft room okay so enough rambling can you tell I'm nervous because I always talk a lot more when I'm nervous <laughs> I'm going to put all of this to the side for now and we're going to do the pens first now these beatable pens right they are ballpoint pens they are refillable any universal ballpoint cartridge will work you just have to cut it down to size okay so they are refillable pens as well screw that back on and then the top part this whole rod actually twists out okay so it does come apart and it just screws back in I screw mine down about halfway down the thread because then I can fit three beads in and then this top part twists off as well if you can see please focus there we go it threads onto there as well now uh, when uh, the one that I have made for my daughter and I I did not glue the end on uh, especially for serenity um, she's 10 years old she is pretty fickle so what she wanted this week she may not want next week which she may not want the week after so I didn't glue my my tip on because I told her if she looks after the pen she doesn't lose any of the beads we'll do a trade right she can give me back the three beads that are on her pen she can pick out three new ones and round and round it goes for my sets that I'm selling to my customers though I am putting a little bit of liquid fusion on the tip 
and then screwing that back on and leaving it a good 12 hours. They won't be able to change their beads out, but it will also stop this part coming apart in their handbags and their beads going everywhere and them having to reconstruct it themselves. Okay, so the end twists off. Now, um, as I mentioned, because this is the silver pen, right, um, I already have a silver and purple set that I'm trying to sell at the moment, so I didn't want to use uh, more silver. So what we're going to do tonight is instead of the silver, we're going to use black, and we're going to do black and blue. So pretending that this is black, we're going to go, these are the three blue beads I've picked. I've got one that's got little spotty dots on it. Actually, I'm going to do that. It's got little dots on it. This one has a like a um, mother of pearl effect to it, like an opal effect. And then the one that we're using on the bag set are the stripes. To complement these, we have a plaid black one. This is just like a standard black bead, but I thought the hexagonal pattern on it was pretty funky. And then one of these cool little mini pearl ones. So I think, where did that one go? We've lost a bead. Oh, that's for the other set, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, so with this pretending to be black, I'm going to go this blue one. And then... We'll go this one. If I could get it through, I might go the other way. There we go. They all do fit on. Some of them just need a little bit of encouragement. Uh, and then let's finish off with. Hang on. <coughs> I have to think about this because I don't want it to no let's go that one and then that one with the twist top again and that is how easy it is to make the pens okay I, I don't see people having many questions but if you do let me know uh, I follow my pretty pro blah, 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 blah. try saying that ten times fast. Uh, my pretty pro posh princess. I follow her too. She's a lot of fun. Um, okay, so with the green one, so this is what I was trying to say with the black pretending to be silver, right? Because this is green, I'm going to go two whites and a green on this one. So I think I'm going to go the same way. Look at how cool this is. This one, it's not technically white, but I just thought it was cool. It's like broken glass. So I think I want to save that one for the, the bling set. So let's go this pearl. Um little spotty dot for the green and then finish off with this looks like a disco ball but it's got an opal effect to it as well um, and then the top twists on again like so <gasps> no not like so okay I think I'm going to bring this metal rod out just a little bit more just to give me more room once the beads go on for this end cap to go back on there we go that's better okay so they're the pens now as I mentioned if you want to change them out the tops come off um, as what the little problem that you saw just there, uh, the rods that you thread the beads onto can actually be screwed right the way down into the pen if you only wanted to use two beads. Okay, because I like putting three and three, um, you, that's why I said make sure that it's only halfway down the thread because then that gives you enough room to be able to, to still screw the top on. Now, if you never wanted to change the beads out again, this is when you would put a little bit of liquid fusion on that top part before screwing back in. But they're the pens and then obviously the pens from the bottom. 
this way. Ah, came off again. They twist out. Okay. This pen's going to be the, the one thing tonight. You know how there's always one thing that goes awry when I go live? This green pen's going to be it. So I'm going to put them to the side. And then we are left with... I was going to say I'm missing a bead, but I'm not. Um, Bubblegum beads are not akin to what I feel like it would be like teaching a kindergarten class where they just won't sit still and they go running off in every direction. Hmm. Okay, so we've got like this little pearl again that I was going to use. Uh, the hexagon pattern uh, and the stripes for the blue set. And then we have that cool crushed glass one. This is like a spiky ball. And then another green pearlescent. I'm just going to check comments. Um, $300 worth of bubblegum beads before Christmas and they're so pretty. Um, yeah, uh, I get that crystal. Uh, like I said, I'm a bit smorgish when it comes to my um, my pretty things, uh, which is probably why I have so much glitter. A lot of the glitter that I have, quite honestly, I have never used or I've only ever used once, but it was so damn pretty that I had to buy it. And then I got it, and now that I've got it, I'm like, no, nobody can have this. This is just for me. Um, I feel a little bit the same way. I got um, Holly from Glitter Your World did a fabulous flakes box, I think it was called. Uh, and I just got that last week, and I feel the same way with that. Um, I'm quite... Well, I, have, I do have an example. Look, I've used it once. I've used one of them once. But... They're flakes. They're glitter. But instead of being like tiny, tiny little glitters, they're flakes. And there's 12 of them. And I feel a little bit possessive of them at the moment. That's my latest one. <coughs> Hi, Laurel. Um, everything is, well, oh, okay, uh, everything from around the start of October. There were a few lives that I did in ATM before then that I never bothered putting on my channel. Um, but everything that I have done since probably around October, everything's on YouTube. Um, otherwise, just search my name in the groups and everything will come up. Um, but thank you for your support. The liquid fusion looks to be a must for the selling. Yes, that's why I glue it on, just because I don't want it to come apart in the handbag. All right, so moving on to the bag sets um, with your whatever cord you want to use. Uh, this has a slight stretch to it, but I wouldn't go pulling it too much because it can straighten right out and then it's got no flex in it. Uh, I like using this because you think if you've got this attached to somebody's bag, if they're moving around and it gets caught on a car seat or here, there and everywhere, right, that little bit of flex could be the difference between it surviving and it snapping and everything going everywhere on the side of the road. So I like using something with a little bit of elastic in it, but you want to get, I always cut way too much um, a lot more than I need to, but I'm like that when I cook pasta or rice as well. Like I always cook enough to feed a village because I, I, I just, I can't. And then when I try to, hey, right, if I go, okay, you know, I'll do five cups of rice for my family and then we end up having like half of a family meal left over, I'll go, okay, next time I'll just use three cups and somehow it's not enough. Like it's either not enough or far too much. And then that's the story of my life. But I am going to turn this back on now, just because I'm hoping that the reflection from the cord shows up. But you want to fold your cord in half, like so. You want to thread it through this connection of your lobster clasp, down, around, and through that bottom loop. So that you end up creating one of those pull knots. Now, um, I have no idea what the technical term for any of these knots are called. So you're going to have to bear with me. But we're going to call it the loop, swoop and pull. It's not an actual knot. If you can see, right, it comes apart quite easily. But once we start threading onto it, it's not going to be that much of a problem. 
So making sure that you're threading through both parts. Um, let's do this one first. We'll do the black one first. Right, so still the two parts of the cord go through the bead. I'm going to go black, blue, black. These are not complicated at all, guys. That's why I think that they're good to sit down and make with your kids. Um, because they, they really don't take any level of talent or anything. You just need to have the equipment. Oh no, I'm stuck up. Here we go. There we go. Alright, so that that's all there is to it. Okay, now to tie it off, this is why I use the end caps. Okay, we're going to thread the silver one. Both sides of the elastic cord. I will check comments in a second, guys. That's why I thought we'd make two sets so that I can make one set, go back, figure out any comments and then make a second set okay so through both put your end cap and then with just one piece of the elastic we want to go up through the top of the bead like the end cap and back through the hole like so Okay, and then once that's on there and it's tight, we're going to tie three knots. Okay, which is just like the way that you tie a shoelace. Same knot. One. Two. Three. Pull them tight. And then we're going to cut off the tail. And there is the back tag. So together, they make the set. See how having the two and one and then the reverse two on one, it just, it evens out and it looks really, really nice. You don't have to do it that way. That's just how I do mine because I'm like, for, for me and how my brain works, having it that way, it just makes my 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 eyes happy i'm like oh look it's all a pattern right but if you wanted to put all of the one color on there if you wanted to put three different colors on there right that's up to you to be as creative as you like um i just like doing the three and three okay i'm just going to go back and check comments i'm i have to be honest with you um I'm quite pissy that my comments on my screen aren't working because I was fully prepared to talk to you and interact with you tonight and try and up my game in that respect. And then, of course, that... No, I can't see the comments. Okay. Um... Uh, Ness says that when she did her live demo of the keychain, she cut her elastic thread way too short. But that's what I mean. It's either too... I don't... Show me a crafter that, or a sewer or a knitter or anything like that that has ever cut their length of thread exactly as long as they needed it to. It's always either too short or too long. So I'd rather it be too long because, I mean, this is 100 metres. The amount of beading that I do, this 100 metres, I, I mean, Serenity's probably going to inherit it in my will, let's be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm not really, I'll go away, somebody's trying to call me, go away. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not really worried about, and I only had about that much left, so it's not as if I'm wasting in excess. It is a slip knot, thank you, Linda. Um, <laughs> slip knot. Um, Liv's here, hi Liv. Um, Pete's here, he missed it or I would quiz him, he should know. Yeah, no, it was a slip knot. But that that's just, sorry. <laughs> was anybody else into slip knot when they were in high school because you were so edgy? Like, you were just so cool, man. Yeah, that was me, I was that kid. That listened to all, all the, the music that I shouldn't be listening to when I was attending the Christian school. 
Can you buy the end caps separately? Um, you mean can Angela? Can you buy just one? I don't. I don't know. Um, the like all I bought a hundred gold ones. And they were separate to the hundred silver ones. If that's what you mean, you can only buy them in like silver or gold, as far as I know. Um, there are heaps of different designs for them, though. They don't do them in just silver and gold. If you type in jewelry jewelry end caps into uh, eBay, then a whole bunch of them will come up. Um, but from memory, I don't think I paid more than five or six dollars for the hundred of them, and that was well over two years ago and I still have at least half of what I bought left um, but like I said I use it for other things as well but they are called end caps okay so same deal again we cut our string we're going to fold it in half we're going to loop swoop and pull it through the end of our lobster clasp like that and then we're going to start threading so again because we did the one green green bead on the green pen we're going to go to green beads now I want this funky spiky one down the bottom so I'm going to do this pearlescent one first and then this oh, I just love this so much and the more that I look at it the more I see does that make sense these are really really pretty white never gets the appreciation it deserves in crafting does it that's really pretty and it has a little bit of an like an aurora like an opal I'll try and get it to come up on camera nope see how it has like that opal shift to it it's, oh, it's just so pretty okay turn that back on and then this funky one down the bottom making sure that both sides go through Okay, now again, the end cap. We're going to use gold this time. Um, what is going on at the top here? There we go. I need, I need gold lobster class because I just realized I'm going to be using silver and gold. Yeah. That's all right. We're committed now. Or should I swap to silver? Because that's silver as well. Quick, make a decision, Laura. I think I am. Um, I think I will. these back just because that's going to bug me otherwise and once it's tied it's tied so let's keep it with silver threading both ends through first let's push it all the way up to the bead and then again making sure I'm staying in frame let's see if I can do this where you guys can see but I can still do it because I'm left-handed and everything's backwards and retarded okay so with one piece you want to swoop it up around the inside of the end cap like up in this bit that you first threaded through we're going to go up from underneath and back out the end please work Should have gone to spec savers. Okay, hang on. I need to see. There we go. Okay, now I've just got to slide it all down at the same time. Make it all sit together. There we go. And then we're going to tie our three knots again. So one two three this third one I'm going to pull tight so that it doesn't start coming undone 
and then we're going to trim it. Now I leave, if you can see, not a whole lot hanging down, but that is, see how simple that is, and kid friendly, and a, and a nice little introduction if I do say so myself, because I'm not taking up all of your Friday night, but I'm still showing up and, and committing to being here, so yay for us. Okay, so, but that, that's it, they're, they're the sets. Um, <clears throat> so just to quickly recap before I go through and check comments and answer questions and say goodbye to you guys. The pens, the ends screw off, uh, you put your beads on, um, you can screw the metal rod that you bead onto. If you screw that all the way down into the base, you can fit two beads. Uh, having it about halfway up the thread, you can fit three beads. I would not recommend uh, threading any more than three beads on because it means pulling the thread even further out of the pen and that's gonna put a lot of weight on this end of the pen um, and it could make it come loose and fall out. So the three beads, and like I mentioned, they are refillable. You just have to trim down the cartridges and then the um, bag bling sets, right? Obviously, they attach to the handbag or anything by the lobster clasp. But you want to do your slip knot or your loop swoop and pull uh, with your elastic cord through the attachment bit here. You thread your beads on, you put your end cap on, and then you want to loop from where it sits out here. You want to loop up through and back through this underside with one piece of it pull it tight do your three knots and then you've got your set nice and straightforward um just going to go back through comments hi linda Uh, oh wow, you were talking. You were really talking. Okay, hang on, we're going back. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I'm repping my Udi. That's where, that's where, okay, that's where we're up to. Um, uh, do I get a pen? Liv, you let me know which one you want and I'll drop it into your place next time I'm out your side of town. That's easy. Yes, I thought silver was a good idea too, guys. Um, but, <laughs> and isn't that always the way? <laughs> While I'm showing you how to make all of this, I've now realized that I need to add to my collection and buy some gold lobster clasps. So that was brought to my attention this evening and now I have to buy more supplies. Oh. Um, yes, they are 10 millimeter um, or uh, point, yeah. Yeah, they're a centimetre, so they're 10 millimetres. Um, is that thread str or stretch? Yes, uh, this is the 100 metre roll from um, Tech Wrap. So it is clear and it does have, I'll see if I can get it to show up. It does have stretch to it, okay? Which is why I like using it. Um, when I first put my order in, because I ordered all, I pre-ordered all of the bubblegum beads, and then when she got the pens in, I went back and ordered the pens um, and a few more of my favourite colours of the beads as well. Uh, and the thread was actually a last-minute thought. Uh, originally, I was just going to use um, cotton, and then I had that thought of, well, hang on a second, if it's got a little bit of stretch to it, it's going to be a little bit more forgiving, especially being on a school bag. Um, if it's got that extra stretch as it's moving around and right being thrown around and whatever else um, Having that little bit of give in it is probably going to work to my advantage Especially since I'm going to be selling these sets oh, Thank you very much guys. Okay, so I'm going to click this button and this button And that is all that I have for you tonight